it's me Kitty with Coupon Divas and today we're going to talk about ways to save money on your school supplies, uniforms, backpacks, even books for college kids. clearance shopping. Now, if you didn't do this last year at the end of the school supply season, then you can definitely take advantage of it this time. And what I mean by that is, is that about two weeks after school starts, everything goes on clearance as much as up to like 75 and even 90% off. For instance, I was able last year to pick up things that are kind of expensive for the older kids, like five subject notebooks for 78 cents. I mean, you can't beat that deal. Other things that are big ticket items we were able to get are these binders. This one was really popular last year. I got it for 48 cents. It was a $10 binder. Same thing here. I think it was like $1.74 for this um, two inch binder that at some office supply stores, these go for up to like eight or nine dollars. So you can see the clearance shopping can really pay off, especially as the kids get older and the stuff gets more expensive to buy each year. So if you could get away with things like using your supplies from last year, like look at this little pencil pouch, it's practically unused. Now this one was for my second grader last year, but he can definitely use this moving into third grade. So using old school supplies from last year until you can get those clearance buys as they come in this year, you'll save a lot of money that way. Another way to save money is to just kind of plan out your stops and shop at more than one store. Now, I know what you guys are thinking is like, you know, gas is expensive. I just want to get my supplies, you know, bought and done. I just want this over with. But I'm telling you, if you plan it into your route, say you're going to go to the grocery store. Is there one of the office supply stores close to you or Target or Walmart, you know, where other things are on sale? And you, if you're dropping your kids at baseball practice, is something right down the road where you can tie in a trip? Or maybe even do a buddy system where you and a neighbor go out and buy everything together and you just take one car you're saving gas and you're gonna save on the school supplies so that's another great tip Another great way to get cheap and even sometimes free back to school items is by using programs like the extra care bucks at CVS and the register rewards over at Walgreens. Because I'm telling you, let me show you this example. I just went to the store and I bought these Crayola washable markers, the name brand, they cost me $2, so I paid $2 out of pocket, but then I got back the register rewards good for $2 off my next in-store purchase. So. Basically, these were free. I just paid the sales tax and I have the $2 back and a little coupon here to use on my next purchase. That is a really great way to save. Another great incentive that the stores are offering, you know, to kind of get you in the door is mail-in rebates. You've seen them probably in the Staples ad and the Office Depot ad. When you buy the merchandise, it prints out the forms that you need to either fill out or use to turn in online. And then basically just make sure that you read the terms. Sometimes they give you the cash back in the form of a check. And sometimes they'll give you like a prepaid Visa card. And other times it's like an in-store credit. So as long as you're okay with whatever the reward is, or the money back, then this is another great way to really save on your back to school supplies. Now our next tip is for when you're heading out to the stores and say you're going to be buying shoes or clothes or even office supplies, you're definitely going to always want to make sure that you look for your um, coupons. This one is for Rack Room Shoes. It's a great discount for my next purchase there. I also printed off coupons for JCPenney's and Macy's and Kohl's. There's all kinds of printable coupons, so you always want to make sure you come over to Coupon Divas. We have a whole entire page where we list off the hottest retail printable coupons that are out there, so make sure you always check it before you head out the door. We have everything from office supplies to shoes to clothes and more, so another great way to save a lot of money. Now while we're on the subject of coupons real quick, let's just talk about competitor coupons. And what I mean by this is, is a lot of times office supply stores will take a competitor coupon. I know if I don't have a Staples coupon but I'm shopping in there, I can whip out this Office Depot coupon or an Office Max coupon and they'll take it right off my total purchase. So that's another great way to save is if you see something at sale, it's on sale at Staples but you don't have a coupon, you can bring in a competitor one and they'll give you that discount. Discount. Now say you bought an item like a calculator or a computer, something bigger that, you know, it's a big ticket purchase and you want to make sure you got the best deal. Don't forget about checking whether or not your stores are offering a price guarantee or a price adjustment. I know I was able to get this a couple times last year at Staples when an item went on sale within a certain period of time, it's usually about 14 days. You can bring in the advertised price 
And a lot of stores, it could be that specific store's ad, or again, a competitor ad if they're doing that, and you could just simply bring it in with your receipt and say, hey, this is on sale cheaper over at Best Buy, and they'll adjust your price down to the new selling price. So make sure you check that out when you're shopping, and you'll be able to save that way too. Now next I want to talk about something that I got a lot of questions on last week and that's backpacks. How do I save on backpacks? Now maybe not this Iron Man one, but I did pick it up for $3.74 about two weeks after school started last year, so I've already got that. But I'm talking about the ones for the middle school and high school kids when you get up to the $50 to $80 backpacks that these kids need to haul all their books around in. Well, to keep your eyes open, there's been some deals in the sales ads for Office Max, Office Depot, and even Staples where they're offering 100% back. So you buy the backpack and you get 100% value back in reward certificates. Now the reward certificates have to be used in the store on something else, but you could still, you could buy paper or you could buy toner for your you know your printers it's a great way to go if you're willing to shop in the store again and use the money on something else staples this year is running 50% back um, of the purchase price pay so it's a little bit different than last year but it's still if you're buying a $60 bag you're still gonna get $30 back to use on something else in the store so that's been really helpful and also if it doesn't have to be a new bag you might want to check places like the thrift stores and even go online and check eBay for some gently used bags because a lot of times you can get a nice bag at a really good discount just by shopping those two places. And finally, you're going to want to make sure you keep your eyes open online because they've been offering some really great deals online and as well as a lot of free shipping offers too on the backpacks. So keep your eyes open online. We've been rounding those up in a special back to school page for you. So you're going to want to check there every day because we're updating it daily as we find new back to school deals. Finally, let's talk about school uniforms. I got a lot of emails last week. We were talking about clothes shopping and everybody said, hey, wait, my kids have to wear uniforms to school. How do we save on those? So I do have some tips for that too. The first tip is gonna be to just wait for sales. Pick things up as they go on sale and don't feel like you have to buy everything at once. Also make sure that you check eBay because eBay a lot of times people will put out things that their kids never even wore or they're gently used. And if you some searching tips would be to search by time ending soonest so you don't have to wait a whole long time and also put in your back to school uniform or school uniform, your kid's size, and then maybe lots, L-O-T-S, because a lot of times people will put everything together and you'll be able to get sweaters and shirts and the blouses and the skirts or the dresses or the pants all together from one seller, you'll save money and you'll save shipping and you, you know, you really save a lot of time that way too. Now again, the next way is gonna be those thrift stores because a lot of times the, the thrift stores, they get them in throughout the year and they will save them for this month, these months of back to school shopping so that they have a lot of supply for everyone that's coming in. So those are some great tips for back to school shopping and you still have several weeks to keep an eye out and take advantage of some of these tips and really save a lot of money on your back to school shopping. And you know, make sure you're following us on Facebook and also make sure you sign up for our newsletter because we do keep you on top of all the hottest deals. Until next time, I'm Kitty with Coupon Divas. Thanks for watching.